Hello and thank you for watching this video. Today I will show you how you can import products from Amazon to commerce for dropshipping business. On the previous video, I show you how to import affiliate products from Amazon to commerce, and on this video, I show you how to import dropshipping products from Amazon to commerce. Note that on the first video of this playlist, you can find how to install and connect the Chrome extension to your store. This video it's a video of two minutes time and it's very easy to configure and to install. So on this video, I will start by loading a product page. So I choose randomly this uh, product page, and when what you can see here is that at the end of the page load, there is three buttons that are displayed on the screen. The first button is to import single product, so single SKU or single as-in from Amazon. The second button is for bulk import, and the last one is for configuration. So by clicking this button here, you will see the following model and these two options here. So this option will allow to import product as external product or as affiliate product. This means that the user will be redirected to Amazon product page instead of paying the product in your site and this product here is dropshipping business so the the end user will not have any idea about amazon and will purchase the product on your site and it's up to you to send the product at the end for him so as you can see here we have all the details of the product we can just click on the import to shop button and wait for the result after a few seconds the product should be loaded successfully exactly and if you go to product we will see that the product has been imported successfully on this place here and we will open the product in visualiz visualization mode. And you will see that all the details have been imported. So here we have 18 reviews, we have gallery images, we have the price, the title, the short description, the description, the additional data and the reviews. So I will remove this product from here and I will import it again with some customization of the product. Again, I go back to this page here and we will go tab by tab and see all the features of this tool. So here we have selected a simple product, so it's a dropshipping product. We have the price of 27, we can increase it to be $70, and then the sale price will be 55. Here we have the ASIN SKU, you can change it, but it's better to keep this one. You have the title, you can customize the title. You can remove anything from it, you can add some stuff if you want. The product URL, the buy button, so this will not be taken into consideration in business, in dropshipping business. The short description, here we can choose to publish the product, or to set it as draft so we will publish the product that it will allow us to see it directly published on the store and we'll set it at featured product we'll also choose the category so this is the category that are available on your woocommerce you can get the list from here you can add new categories from here and then you will see them on the product page sometimes you will need to connect again to your store in order to refresh the cache and see these new categories if you go to the description you see that there is a description here sometimes the description is not well structured so we can remove the section that we want to replace we can add, for example, product details. We can add also product specification. So specification, we can write whatever we want. So you can choose your style. This is very useful, actually. You can choose the style of description. So here we added some bullets. You can also add some pictures from the description. Ah, we can add the short description, sorry. So we will add it. We see here that there is the short description. We can also add the product description we will not do for this case we can add the gallery images here so this can be useful if you add them you'll see all the images are added here maybe you can use this picture is useful for descriptions pros. and you put it here save it here okay and then we can add also images from reviews so if you select this one it will take a while and then it will load all the review images so this maybe is missing some spinning loader here to show the status of the loading but you see that on the scroll it is still loading so maybe there are many images we will wait until it loads all of them okay the scroll is becoming bigger and bigger so this means that we have loaded the images from the reviews this is a very useful picture to see real feedback from customers so you can create a section on your on your description you say uh, real feedback from customer real picture from customer and then you can for example change the place of them you can put two pictures on the same line for example we'll add one here in this place and we can do whatever we want actually. At the end, you can select the part that you want to keep for the description, for example, this one, and you can remove the rest. I will cut this part, then select the rest of the images and we remove them and paste again what I want to keep as a description. So for me, I, I like this one. It's completely fine. You can also add the image from description, but we don't, we will not do it on this time. The variation images are very high quality images and they can be very good for description. On the gallery, again, the same thing. We can add pictures from description, images from variation, and images from review. So the same images that we have seen before here, we can also add them as galleries. So at the end, they will be displayed here. You can choose the appropriate images from reviews and you can add them. You can also modify uh, images. So I will take this image here and I click on the button. It will redirect me to this 
website, Lunapic, which is very powerful website. I think it opened the not appropriate image. I will close this one and I click it again. I click the appropriate button. Not sure about that. Okay, it's still opening the wrong description. I think there is a small bug here. I'll check with the team how we can edit this and fix it. Okay, it's still opening the same image again and again for some reason. Okay, so I go to the reviews. We have here all the reviews loaded on this page. You see that there are many of them. Some of them are with pictures, and when you hover them, they will be zoomed. And this can be useful for the end user to see the image. You can keep good reviews. You can remove all of them. You can just add your custom reviews. You can also load reviews from here by clicking this button here. So by clicking this button, you can add more reviews from here. So you choose any one you want from any page, and then you click on import reviews. And this will be added at the end. You see these two reviews, we just add them. You can add some tags. So cool product. Tags to be more visible, to give more visibility of some to some reviews. You can also add some SEOs to your reviews in order to have a better visualization on the search result. On the details is the additional section that we will see right here on the product below. So on the additional information, you'll see this part. You can add new specification if you want, shop name. You can add the name of the shop. You can go to product tag. You can add the tag you want. So the tag is what you see right here. 